Now we're going to work on triads. In the last lesson, we talked about triads briefly. We had this pattern, and I mentioned that there's a shape here, which is that of a triad. Now I'd like to talk about triads more in depth. What is a triad? A triad is a root, third, and fifth of a chord. When I play the B-flat 7 chord, I have a root, which is B-flat, the third, which is D, and the fifth, which is F. Okay, it's a very familiar sound. And the third is in the chord, in this particular voicing that we've used so far, we don't have the fifth, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we have the option to use it. But for now, we're going to use it as part of our melody. The triad is a really good guide for mapping out chord changes. This can be done with any song at all levels. But we're going to do this with the blues as we've been looking at so far. So for B flat 7, here's our triad. For E flat 7, this is the triad. And for F7, it's this. Okay? This is very similar to the earlier lessons where we followed the chord changes. We're going to be doing the same thing now, following the chord changes, but with triads. So right now I'm going to play each triad ascending. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that has a little bit of the groove of the rhythm. I can also play them descending. You can also do variations. Uh, throughout this program, I'm going to encourage you to do variations. What if we start the first one ascending and do the second one descending? Okay? You can do these variations as we're playing over the blues. Let's play this with the rhythm right now. descending. So now it's your turn to play it with Matt and Nathan. Let's bring in the guys. One, two, one, two, three. 